Well, hello everybody, and welcome to today's video. Today's video, I wanna to talk to you about having a balanced stroke in your short game. Now, I'm not talking about balance in your feet. I'm not talking about holding your balance. I'm talking about having a balanced stroke, one where the backswing and the forward swing match one another. If you aren't doing this, then you're gonna struggle in your short game. So I wanna thank you to this video. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button for me and give me a thumbs up. And let's jump right into it. So what do I mean by a balanced stroke? Well, the problem I see with a lot of my students is when they're hitting pitch shots and putts, and we're gonna cover putting as well, their strokes don't match up, meaning they might have a, a shot and they make a great big old backswing and no follow through. Or they make zero backswing and try and accelerate through the ball with a big follow through. And these don't work, they don't produce consistent shots. I want my students, I want you, I want me, to have what I just referred to as a balanced stroke where depending on the size and the length of the shot I'm trying to hit, I need my backswing to go back a certain distance and I need my forward swing to go forward about the same distance. Now, if it's a short little chip shot, that might be club head travels knee high to knee high. If I'm hitting just a little pitch like the one you just saw me in the, in the warm up here, that was kind of waist high to waist high. If I'm getting a little bit longer and I need a bigger shot, it might be hands go shoulder high to shoulder high or club head goes shoulder high to shoulder high. But I want that stroke, the length of the backswing and follow through to match. And if you can do that, you are going to hit much more consistent shots and you'll be able to learn to control your distance a little bit. So let me show you two examples. All right, well here I am, right up on the edge of the green, just hitting your standard little chip shot. And again, I see students, backswings too long, no follow through. Little backswing, big follow through. Make this stroke be balanced. This would one that would be that kind of knee high to knee high swing. Get set up, take that club to knee high, take it forward to knee high, let it bump the ground. Hold your follow through. Make sure that you stopped it in the right place. You need to practice this. Don't just stand out around the green, just randomly hitting pitch shots. Pay attention to what you're doing. Let me show you another shot. Now here I am with a completely different shot. You can see I'm 10, 12 steps off the green. The green is a little bit elevated. I need to get this ball up in the air a little bit. It doesn't need to roll as far. So I'm gonna need a bigger swing, but it still has to be balanced. I'm thinking in this swing, my hands are gonna go back to waist high. My club head is going to go just a little above waist high. So let's see if I can hit the shot. Waist high, waist high, club head a little bit farther. All done with rhythm. Hold your finish. Practice this. Get out there, practice with a purpose. Now let's go up to the putting green and let me talk to you about a balanced putting stroke. A balanced stroke also applies to the putting stroke as well. Excuse me, bug in my face. When I'm hitting a putt, depending on the length of the putt, there's a distance my putter needs to go back, and I want it to go basically the same distance forward. It can get a little bit longer in the forward swing. I don't mind that, but I definitely don't want a putting stroke that's a little bit shorter. And yeah, you may see some guys on tour that have a bigger backswing with a shorter follow through, but I'm talking about your average golfer here. Um, you know, the more balanced you can make your swing, the better you're going to perform. So in a putt, let me get set up here. So if I had a little five, 10 foot or something like that, maybe my putting, my putter goes back to my foot and then forward to my other foot. So back to the back foot, forward to the front foot. Nice little indicator if you're out there just practicing. But let me show you a cool little drill and a cheap little training aid that I like to get my students to use that really, really helps with this. I like to use a yardstick. 
This is a little wooden yardstick that I bought at Home Depot. The nice thing about them is that they're double-sided. And all I do is I put a little black dot right there on the 18 inch mark. And then on this one, I am going back every six inches and I am putting a line. And then I have a, a corresponding line going forward. So you can see here a blue line and a blue line, green line and green line. Very simple little drill. You just get in here and practice making swings going from blue line to blue line. Blue line to blue line. Green line to green line. Making sure that I am aware of where my putter is. Now, cool thing about these double-sided ones is you can, on the other side, make your lines a different length. So maybe six inch spread on one side, four inch spread on the other one. And just stand in here and rehearse. Green line, green line, red line, red line, blue line, blue line, whatever. And then just get golf balls. Use it next to your stick, green line. A little farther than the green going forward. But like I said, we can error a little bit on the forward swing. Now, red line to red line. Well, there you go, folks. A very simple little tip that will really, really help you in your pitching and in your putting. Get those strokes balanced. Work on it. Make it a priority in your practice when you go out to just pay attention to where your swing is. You can do this at home. You don't have to have a ball, or you can even use a ball. Hit chip shots in the yard. Hit putts on the carpet. Get yourself a yardstick, but do something to get that stroke balanced. I want to thank y'all for checking in with my video again. I really do appreciate it. Um, I've been doing these videos now for about eight to 10 months and it's very rewarding and I'm going to keep doing it and your support just keeps helping me out. So thanks a lot and y'all have a great day and I hope this tip really helps you out.